Right now at noon, you're seeing Vice President Kamala Harris sporting Air Force Two. This is at Joint Base Andrews. She did it for her trip here to Milwaukee. Within the last hour, she landed at Mitchell International Airport. The Vice President will then travel to the University of Wisconsin's Milwaukee's Clean Energy Laboratory. That's just off Capitol Drive in Glendale. Our Charles Benson is live there right now with a look at the Vice President's Day here in Milwaukee. Charles. It's going to be a big day here for Vice President Kamala Harris. It's her first trip to Milwaukee as Vice President. And as you mentioned, she landed here about a half hour ago. And you can see there was a welcome committee there as she arrived at the airport, which included Governor Tony Evers as well as Senator Tammy Baldwin, who will also be here at this UW Milwaukee building. We're not on the campus, we're just off Capitol Drive. This is a clean air and energy facility that the vice president will tour to look at the research and development and things that are happening. She's all she's here to talk about the infrastructure bill, two point three trillion dollars that the president has talked about that will create millions of jobs and provide an incentive here to go after clean energy jobs, affordable housing. I'm joined now by uh, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, who's one of the people that are here on location and Lieutenant Governor, thank you for making time. Uh, the vice president coming here to talk about the infrastructure plan. What stands out for you? Because there's a lot in this plan that stands out to you where Milwaukee uh, residents and Milwaukee manufacturers and companies can benefit from. Yeah, it is amazing that uh, the Biden Harris administration is uh, taking these significant steps to increase renewable energy production. This is an incredible opportunity for the state of Wisconsin, and this visit shows that Wisconsin is going to be in the driver's seat uh, for changing the way that our economy functions. That for changing the way that we produce energy. And we can do that right here in the state of Wisconsin. That has been a pledge of mine for a long time. And to see uh, that potentially become our reality is amazing. Yeah, we often don't see Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the forefront of clean energy jobs, but we have fresh water. And that's a, uh, a something that is attractive to manufacturers and to people looking for cleaner energy, cleaner water. But there's also a lot in this bill. What do you say to Republicans who say it's too big, it's too much? and can't afford it. Yes, infrastructure, we're looking for roads and bridges, but not everything that's in this bill. By not acting, uh, we are sacrificing our future. Uh, by sitting around and doing nothing, uh, we do a disservice to the next generation. So this is an opportunity for us to make the significant investments, to make the United States of America a power player once again, and to see the state of Wisconsin to be at the forefront is something we can't turn our backs on. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you. Uh, the mayor is also here. The county executive, David Crowley, is here. And so there's going to be a discussion, a roundtable discussion here led by the vice president to break down this infrastructure bill. We're hoping to have a chance to talk to her after this as well and talk to her about what's in this bill, what's it mean for Milwaukee, and also talk about what's happening with vaccinations in the state of Wisconsin. For, to for now, Tom, I'll send it back to you. We're waiting for the vice president to arrive here at the UW building in Glendale. All right, Charles Benson there uh, live in Glendale and the vice president on her way there.